is up guys i'm daddy gamer friend and welcome back to another pokemon video now in today's video we're going to be moving shiny gen 1 pokemon that i've caught in inside of pokemon go move them over to pokemon let's go pikachu and then move that over into pokemon home now currently inside of pokemon go if you try to move pokemon from pokemon go into pokemon home directly you have to use what is called pokemon transport energy now using that energy literally puts the transporter on pause for like about a week and in order to restart that energy and get more energy you gotta pay real money inside of pokemon go and i am not about that and currently in pokemon go i am maxed out i have no coins and I'm maxed out with how many Pokemon I can actually hold. They keep doing these events where they give us these special hat Pokemon or special hat Pikachus. And we can't move them out into Pokemon Home. And I want to keep them. I want to have a whole bunch of these special Pokemon Go Pokemon. But I can't do nothing with them. They're not valuable inside of Pokemon Go. And then I can't move them over to home to show that I collected them. So it's, it is a sticky situation. So however, what I'm going to be doing again in this video is showing you guys the best method that I use to clear out to get more space inside of Pokemon Go. As well as to avoid using transport energy that I could be using on other Pokemon outside of Generation one now to get this clear to get this out the way obviously you're gonna need yourself a nintendo switch you're also gonna need yourself a copy of pokemon let's go pikachu let's go eevee and you're gonna have to play the game at least far enough that you get yourself into vermilion city vermilion no you have to go to saffron saffron city once you get yourself in saffron is it saffron fuchsia once you get yourself into fuchsia city you are able to enter the Pokemon Go Complex building. Now, once you enter that building, very simple and plain. All you gotta do is talk to your mans right here. Just fourth wall breaking with this video. I am recording this again, basically, because I did the gameplay and my voice was shot because I was sick and I wanted to get this video up. And I was like, nah, let's just put the video out when it comes out and do a voiceover like I'm doing now with video <coughs> your boy's still a little sick pray for me in the comments but so first thing you got to do obviously is inside of pokemon go you got to make sure that your account is connected to your nintendo switch to do that you need to make sure your bluetooth is on and then also connect inside of the let's go pikachu and let's go ev game to do that what you need to do is to open up the menu click what did i click here um go into the settings and then when you go into the settings right on top it says open pokemon go settings then from there is this going to connect you from your pokemon let's go pikachu let's go eevee to pokemon go in pokemon go what you need to do is just scroll all the way down inside of the settings until you see the nintendo switch icon you click that your bluetooth is on is going to pair the account to your nintendo switch and then once you end there Go inside the Pokemon Go complex and deposit Pokemon. In order to deposit Pokemon, what you need to do is you need to ask the guy, yo, I'm tell him that you're going to bring Pokemon. Pick a park that is currently not empty, but that has room for the shiny Pokemon you want to bring in. As you can see, I have a whole park dedicated to it, and I have a ton of parks that are... <coughs> I have a ton of parks that are either filled with Meltan or other Pokemon. I got to go check because I am trying to have a complete national dex inside of Pokemon Home. I'm going to save that for a different video. But there's a ton of other shiny Pokemon inside of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee that I need to go and recatch and then bring them over to home. I'm going to save that again, like I said, for a different video. But in this video, I am going to bring a few more from Go. So again, you're searching for Pokemon Go account. You need to go into your Pokemon Go. Then hit the Nintendo Switch icon first before you start selecting the, 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 the shinies you want to bring over. I've done that mistake once this first rolled out and I transferred legendaries to the candy machine. I done it. So don't make that mistake. Make sure the Nintendo Switch icon is selected so you can select multiple Pokemon that you want to bring over into Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee from Pokemon Go. Select the Pokemon that you want to bring in. I'm going to bring in a ton of Ghastly and Abras and Legendary <coughs> and Legendary Pokemon. So now that I got them in, 
and they do look pretty sweet inside of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, especially in the Go Park. I love this feature inside of this game. Please bring it back because, again, we need this to bring Pokemon easily from Pokemon Go into the games without actually using that transport energy. But my theory is, is that if they do do this in games, in the future, they are going to make it called Transport Energy. Like, why not? Transport Energy is like a, a paywall for Go. So why not get the coins, you know, out of the players that are willing to pay? I'm going to grab the... <coughs> I'm going to grab this shiny Glassly inside of Go Park. Bring him over to Pokemon Home. As well as the shiny Weedle. Why not? And then once they are caught inside of Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. It's very easy to bring them into Home. All you got to do is literally select Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. You got to select Pokemon and open up the Pokemon game that you want to select the Pokemon from. Obviously, let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. Then from here, just search the boxes until you get the Pokemon that you want and then drop them off in boxes and home. So the three Pokemon that I'm bringing over to Pokemon Home is Ghastly, Weedle, and Golbat. Now, also know that Ghastly and Weedle in this video was caught inside of Pokemon Go. The Golbat wasn't, and I did it to compare, but I'm not going to do the comparison because I'm not that battling guy what you do want to take away from the, the comparison is that the pokemon go pokemon have like a g logo attached to them inside their status and that's nowhere to be found inside of the pokemon that, that are caught from pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go eevee so you can decipher like you know tell them apart inside of home after the fact also note that the pokemon from Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee will have the trainer name from Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee instead of the trainer name inside of Pokemon Go. Like if you were transferring with the Go energy, I believe if you transfer with the energy from Go straight into home, they will have the trainer name from Pokemon Go. So I'm going to end this video by bringing one of the Pokemon over to Pokemon Sword and Shield as well. And obviously that Pokemon has to be Ghastly because you can't bring over Weedle. Weedle is not in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Gobat is, but um, I'm going to leave Gobat inside of home and just bring over a Ghastly and show you guys that. Yeah, this is a viable way to bring over shiny Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee into Pokemon Home. Again, Community Day is about to roll up and we got another Gen 1 Pokemon. Catch yourself 10, 20 matchups. Don't want to leave them in Pokemon Go? You don't have to. You could easily drop them into Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, recatch them, throw them into your Pokemon Home and you have tons of shiny potential Pokemon that you can trade for different Pokemon from a spectrum of Pokemon stuff. That's what I use my extra shinies for. I just put them up on the GTS inside of Pokemon Home for, you know, Pokemon that I don't got that somebody does have from a different generation that I'm, you know, I don't want to go and pull out my, th like, who, who's really, no, who's really playing this thing? No one's really playing the 3DS. I don't want to play the 3DS to, to go back into an old generation to bring a Pokemon through when there are people that are willing to do it, especially for shinies. And I got tons that I don't need that I caught in Go. So why not use them as currency inside of Pokemon Home? So again, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this method to bring Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Home. Do you think it's valuable in 2021? Do you still bring in Pokemon using this method? Or do you just, you know, deal with the fact that you have to wait a week and use your Pokemon Go transfer energy and bring those Pokemon into and just bring those Pokemon straight into home. But, you know, again, wait that time. Me, I got a tons of Pokemon that I need to bring over for my national decks that I got inside of Pokemon Go that I don't got in home that I'm I'm, I'm too busy. I, I, I waste this too quickly. The the amount of, of transport energy for me to be worrying about generation one Pokemon. I got tons of shinies that I need to bring over. I got tons of 
legendaries that I want to bring over as well again to use as trade currency on the GTS for some Pokemon that I don't have trying to complete my national decks and again I think this is a great method let me know in the comment section below if you're using this method also I answer all comments so let's have that conversation down there if you found anything confusing I know I, I rumble a lot so let's have that conversation down there and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button I do videos like this all the time talking Pokemon talking Call of Duty talking Fortnite you're gonna find that vibes right here on the channel so again hit the subscribe button if you're digging it also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend this to other people can check out the videos peace I love you guys I'm gonna see you guys on the next one and this is the 25th anniversary of pokemon so i have tons of pokemon shit coming to the channel this year so definitely check out and be on the lookout for you boy i got tons of pokemon related content dropping this year again peace i love you guys see you guys on the next one thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one